Hello everyone, uh, we've got ourselves a uh, game 3 from the CatCon tournament. This one is going to be Magellan controlling Rome against Oplite controlling the Numidians. Uh, so build wise and faction wise, uh, the Numidian are going to be at a slight disadvantage as far as infantry is concerned. But quite frankly, they still have very uh, efficient run there with the De Desert Legionnaires, 55 moral. It seems like he went for these guys only then there's going to be a Numidian light uh, infantry a useful unit very light something that rome doesn't have uh, good good shock value unit so 28 charge for 380 denarii very good uh, the one thing that's really going to make uh, Numidia in my opinion a slightly stronger faction than rome is going to be those uh, lancers uh, th those uh, armor Numidian uh, riders it's a very cheap unit very decent charge and what this means is that in the beginning of infantry, considering they're relatively fast, um, heavy shot cap, they're going to be able to blunt the charges uh, for the Numidians and then uh, follow up with infantry relatively easily. Uh, as per Rome, as those Sakei okay, Equites. Uh, and Equites, so Equites, a good unit, very cheap, 70 armor, but if they get charged by those uh, Lancers, it's going to be GG. So it's really all about um, blunting the initial uh, charge, which uh, Numidia can do more easily, in my humble opinion. If we go over the build, there's going to be four of these Lancers. Uh, there's going to be as well four uh, Numidian Skirmishers. There's no Slingers in this build, which I like versus Rome. Um, it's going to make it that it's less of a long fight against the, those very ulit elite infantry units due to the fact that the, the Numidian Skirmisher can L down a lot of damage uh, with their Javelin once they're out of ammunition. Uh, they're going to be quite useful in melee as well uh, to go in melee against those uh, very elite uh, unit and then uh, pull back your desert legionnaire for example and redirect them towards another fight there's going to be two armor numidian cavalry uh, so i mean versus most faction this would be a very 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 deadly unit uh, versus rome i'm not quite certain um i mean they're better of course than just uh, very uh, light skirmishing units for the late game but it's still very low armor unit, 45, so I'm, I'm not quite sure how deadly they can be against Rome, we'll see. There's those uh, Vigiles there, which are an amazing unit, they can use uh, block formation, uh, you get this unit for 200 denarii, so a very cheap unit with um, uh, a lot of a ta tactical um, advantage to them. Uh, very shitty moral, but once you get into square, they will last for a long time. That's what she said. Uh, there's going to be... Yeah, that's it. So that's going to be the build for Numidia. As for Rome, there's going to be two auxiliary uh, Numidian cavalry to counter the Numidian uh, skirmishing cav. So this guy costs 550 denarii. Uh, they are very fast. They have a good uh, shot per minute. It's going to be the same as the armor Numidian cav. Uh, so, I mean, a good pick to, to take them. But uh, cost effectiveness wise, these guys like, are going to be at a disadvantage when uh, facing Numidia. There's going to be Syrian archers, uh, so yeah, so three Syrian archers. These guys are going to cause eye damage quick, uh, but they're not in for the long haul, uh, like a slinger, which is just going to rain dead upon the up, ra rain death upon the opponent throughout the games and the even late game. There's going to be two tri uh, uh, the triarii, two vigiles, which also have the black formation, so a good tactical uh, purpose-wise unit. A stati. Evocati cohort, Praetorian Guard. Ooh, I like to see that. Uh, a stati. So, three a stati, two Evocati cohort, and two Praetorian Guard, it seems like. Just one Praetorian Guard. Uh, this unit is going to be very hard to crack for um, Matisselli. Uh, but uh, then again, those uh, jabs might come in uh, useful. Let's press play. Uh, for the cavalry, we got the Sakya Equite, which has 50 moral, uh, 55 armor. So, I mean, this unit is very susceptible to cavalry charges. Uh, it's going to be a good unit uh, to chase down uh, slingers, perhaps blunt charge. But then again, uh, for the sake of blunting charge, I like the Equite better due to the fact that they have better armor. Uh, and uh, a bit less moral, though. So, that means they're going to be, you know, as soon as you can c commit with them in melee, you got to pull them back ASAP. So it seems like we'll have an armored Numidian cavalry uh, facing up against uh, auxiliary uh, Numidian cav on each flank. This should go easily in the favor of the um, armored version of the Numidian cav. But then again, uh, you know, it's a, it's expensive jabs uh, being thrown at a lighter unit, which should be able to dodge them. So it's all going to be about the uh, U-Micros at best at this point. Sorry, sip of water. 
so build wise actually i'm gonna give it uh, to the numidians uh, sorely due to the fact solely due to the fact that uh, they have those uh, armor numidian riders uh, which will be useful early in the game for those initial engagement as well as light late game if they're kept uh, safe for the armor and anvil a very good unit super cheap so that's really their strength cheap good shock value decent moral what else do they have they have that 10 bonus versus large which every cavalry has actually the equity is gonna have 15 and the sake equity is gonna have 15 so i mean if roman cavalry catch these guys um very good move there if this uh roman cavalry ca catch these guys without them getting a charge oh what a shame they uh, Yes, that's meaningful. A lot of HP damage there. Two mans down already. That's not good for that uh, cavalry unit. Definitely worth the trade. I would lose eight of these guys. Uh, perhaps not 11 for this amount of kill. Ooh. So actually, Rome's doing a good job on the skirmishing phase. Yeah, so far, uh, Rome's getting the advantage, I would say. Now the question is going to be how long can those Syrian archers stay alive, uh, that's that's really the thing and as you can see they have 6 shots per minute, as per slingers, um, the Belaric slingers I believe are at 8, so quite frankly I think slingers are just a better option versus a um, Numidian faction, uh, you're going to get more shot quickly, which means uh, more uh, damage done uh, quickly, it's not as much damage as the Syrian archers but if you deplete a, a unit uh, then your infantry is going to have a, a a better chance again that against them so it's really about deciding do i want quick damage with my missiles or would i rather uh wear down a unit and then uh, engage in melee with them and i mean flank shot from slingers are just super freaking deadly so i guess we'll see the triari there is going to get cut actually and we should see a uh, block formation being issued as we can see the formation attack is being uh, left on from those desert vigile so interesting uh, i think this is done on purpose it's gonna depend the rest of the units uh, so yeah as you see that's what uh, the strength of the vigiles is so now you have a choke point in your line uh, which is going to drive those uh, evocati cohort elsewhere we've got an armored legionnaire charging into the astati being reinforced by desert legionnaire so very good job there uh, by by Mississelli. so yeah they doing their job and we're gonna see the same thing happening all over the place um, the general there so yeah as you see that block formation is gonna leave the flank of that Praetorian guard open oh this is absolutely terrible now they're being fired at by two units this is absolutely terrible so the Syrian archer is actually being used against the desert vigiles a doubtful decision uh, these de desert legionnaires need to die and the Praetorian guards are going to be uh, countered by them so it seems like Messelli was able to stri strike much faster than Rome and that kind of cut Rome off guard and as soon as those flanks open it's going to be extremely deadly for those Numidian uh, skirmishers. Uh, the archers got a fair amount of kill on the Vigiles but really that's not the type of target you want to you wanna be going against. Um, if we look at the Numidian cavalry, one of them LT, one of them has been slightly damaged, but it seems like they're going to be able to be used uh, late game potentially against uh, the Slingers. Now at any point now, actually the shock cap of uh, Numidia got dealt with pretty fast, but at, at this point it looks, uh, it looks bad for Rome. Look at that. This Evocati core just getting absolutely shredded by the... Oh, that's fucking terrible for Rome absolutely terrible for him. Praetorian guard they're getting some kills but they're losing because it did not get that charge and they're being uh, destroyed by a much cheaper unit. Uh, the Praetorian guard is uh, something like uh, 1300 denarii so I mean for these guys to be worried you need at least 250 kills on them which is not going to be the case in that battle. Uh, we'll see the Syrian archers focusing on the Nemedian skirmisher. I mean, I get the idea, but it's too little too late, really, uh, considering they've gotten their fl flank shots. Yeah, the Sakya Equity is going to get shredded down the line, I think. They're going to pull back. It seems like they're... Okay, yeah, so they've been go given uh, general ability for their melee defense and getting counter charge. That's going to be bye-bye for the Sakya Equites. We'll see in the media now being able to uh, reach the back of Rome without uh, cavalry pressure. 
all across the battlefield the cavalry of Rome is uh, falling apart so yep that's a GG I think unless those uh, Syrian archers start doing absolutely fantastic now they're absolutely wrecking the desert legionnaires that's good but if you compared uh, to the Numidian uh, skirmishers damage uh, it takes a lot more time for the auxiliary Syrian archers to do their damage and now they're gonna start being charged uh, by cavalry so it seems like the speed of the media uh, give them the victory in that one. That Praetorian Guard is still hanging in there, so that's going to be the cool thing with that unit. It's not going to break until it's down to freaking 10 men. Uh, so very good unit uh, in general, very expensive whatsoever. And I mean, this unit, in my humble opinion, should be deployed on the flanks um, away from the Numidian skirmishers. Uh, then again, he probably did not expect the Numidian skirmishers, but uh, you know, when when you, when you're using Rome against uh, against them, you should expect these guys. Uh, I doubt a lot of players would go for um, Slinger's build against Rome because you want to cause those heavy, quick damage early in the game, swing the initial engagement in your favor using your javelins, and uh, yeah, that, that that's how you're gonna want to beat Rome. So I mean, relatively close battle, but Rome is gonna. Rome is going to concede, actually. Yep, Rome is going to con... Oh, wait. What's happening? Yeah, so that's going to be... But wait, it says that... Okay, yeah, that's it. So Rome lost... Yeah, that's it. Okay, perfect. Sorry about that brain fart. A bit slow in my mind uh, today. Uh, so yeah, good game to Oplites, getting his first win of the tournament and therefore it's going to extend the fight um to a best of a it's a best of five so i mean if uh magellan had won that one it would have been a gg but aplite is able to counter him relatively well uh when we look at the kills the praetorian guard they're just not paying for themselves considering an evocati cohort got as many kills as them and uh really there's only three units in the infantry of rome that got a lot of kill the cavalry got absolutely shredded uh, the Syrian archers, um, I mean, they started doing some damage late game, but a lot of the damage was against uh, cheap uh, Vigiles. So definitely not worth it. And if we look at those uh, Numidian skirmishers, they did a fantastic job. 161 kill there. Even at 33, these kills were versus uh, very expensive units. So, I mean, skirmishing-wise, uh, Numidia definitely uh, doing better. Armor Numidian uh, riders, uh, super healthy, kept for late game. That's going to be painful for Rome. Uh, the other one did not get uh, a lot of kill, but they did blunt a very crucial charge. And if you compare them to the Ro Roman cavalry, they did slightly better. Slightly better. Uh, for the Desert Legionnaire, one of them doing great. The other not so much. Uh, armor, Numidian, Spearman. A lot of melee de uh, de sorry, de de defense on that, on that unit. So, I mean, it's going to be the type of unit that lasts for long. Not going to get a lot of kill. So it's really more about creating a choke point and probably uh, holding down units for your skirmishers to do their work or your cap to do their work. The Midian Cavalry turned out to have a fair amount of kill, 82 and 81. Not amazing considering these guys cost to uh, 990, sorry, 990, uh, 20 um, denarii. But uh, they were colliding with the slingers at last. Those Namidian infantry not doing much, 160 kill there. I would assume some of them were on uh, Astatis and Vigiles. Yeah, good job by Aplite. Uh, he's going to extend the fight. And uh, yeah, looking forward to see uh, game four. Thank you guys for listening. Sol Invictus signing off.